lovely simmers, Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing another build using the Cottage Living Pack. And today's build is for a single florist. Um, I did think that this sim was new to gardening, but they had always really enjoyed it. They had always dreamed of having their own farm. So they're starting out small. They have a nice little cottage with some, you know, plant space. And I think I end up getting a couple animals, but I honestly can't remember. My schedule is so hectic between work and school and this and trying to have a life. And I'm just, I built this house like two weekends ago, a weekend ago. Yeah, one weekend ago and i started the voiceover a couple days ago but i didn't have a chance to finish it and then i forgot where i left off in the voiceover so i'm starting over again so i'm not 100 percent sure what i end up doing so we're going to be in this one together uh, me re-watching this trying to figure out what's going on you guys watching it for the first time and it'll all turn out okay in the end so right now we are working on the roofing for the house i wanted there to be this piece here to kind of break up the triangle from the little section up front i do end up putting a little bit of a balcony um or a patio i should say it's nothing big it's like one tile i think and that's just to add a little bit more shape to the house the house was looking a little boxy in the front with all the different like pieces on the sides and stuff like that so i did want to just shake it up a little bit and then i'm decorating the roof and the what's it called the trimmings and everything i wanted it to be kind of like a black and white with greenhouse. Um, I thought that the green was a nice added touch considering they had just started gardening. You know, maybe when they got this house, they repainted things green because that was like their imagery of what farmhouses were. You know, they were the classic white and black, but they had, you know, green and bright colors and, you know, springtime colors and stuff like that. Especially since the this new world has a lot, a lot of forestry in it and a lot of greenery in it. So I figured they were probably inspired by the area that they're living in. Um, and I also started playing with this pack. Now I say that I have only created the sim. So I created the sim who I want to live in this home. I can't remember. Oh, her name was Pansy uh, something. But her first name was Pansy and she has a dog named willow and her and her dog are going to be living here and kind of just exploring the new pack well i'm going to be exploring the new pack the new pack they're going to be exploring the new world they're going to be exploring the gardening career and some of the new plants we're able to uh, work with and stuff like that she's going to be a florist as well so she's going to have the flower arranging table and i'm super excited to finally actually get to play the pack because i haven't had a chance to play with it yet i've just been building because my schedule has been so hectic so i'm excited to get to play with it and I'm excited to also build more and get more into it. And also the day that I am doing this voiceover, I just saw on Instagram. Now I just saw it like five seconds ago. So if it ends up not being right, then I apologize. But I think I saw something about an industrial loft kit. So like the next kit we're getting is gonna be themed around like high rise lofts and like city spaces and stuff like that so i'm super excited about that because it's something a little different um we have some industrial items in game um especially in base game and from the city living pack so i'm hoping that this will kind of expand off of those items and give us a couple more things i haven't seen any like promo pictures for it or like what's coming in the kit and i don't know if that's out yet like i said i literally just saw it five seconds ago on instagram but i am excited to see what is in it i know kits are a little bit of like a con controversial thing but i don't mind them um i like getting little pockets of things um some new content and stuff here and there to break up you know the long waits in between the bigger packs so i'm i'm excited for it but right now we have started on the landscaping and i am again using debug plants um i don't believe i put a pond oh no i do put a pond in this home i put it in the front of the lot but um i really like the debug items that come with this pack especially the plants they have such pretty colors and i feel like they're different colors than what we've gotten with other p uh, packs and other debug items as well but i'm also mixing it with some debug items from the base game menu like some of these larger more like greenery plants instead of just like flowers i thought that that kind of matched the world that this home was in a little bit better considering this world this home like backed up to a forest so i definitely thought there'd be some overgrown plants and some overgrown branches and trees and stuff like that so i wanted to make sure i incorporated that into this build and right there you saw me just kind of zoom in and work on some of the terrain paint and some of the you know more close-up stuff of some of these plants just to make sure everything was fitting properly on the back of the house i don't like to leave backs of house empty 
Um, I sometimes I do forget about them and then I go in and I'm like, oh crap, there's nothing back here. But I try my hardest to make sure that like 360 degree angles, the houses look pretty okay. Um, over here is where we're going to start adding in some of the stuff from the new pack. So I did create a little greenhouse. Um, inside there is going to be the florist table and then also a couple of small garden pots. I did that because there are certain plants that make a lot of money but are seasonal. So I figured things like roses or, or her more precious flowers she could go ahead and keep inside of that little greenhouse there so that way they were always in season and she could always make her bouquets. And then I also added a little fenced off area for the animal shed and the chicken coop. Now this lot I did forget to place a rabbit uh, tree on it so there aren't going to be any rabbits on this lot unless you go ahead and place them yourselves after I upload this to the gallery. But you do have the other two options. I also think this lot comes with the foxes. Like I think when you download the pack this lot has the foxes on it so you'll also have some foxes running around on this lot i think that's technically a lot challenge so if you don't want to do that you can always turn it off and not actually use it but i am kind of intrigued to see how it goes um i have my animals fenced in so i think technically that means they can't get to the animals or it's harder for them to get to the animals i'm not 100 percent sure like i said i haven't actually played with the pack but i'm excited to get my hands on it but over here, oh, I did add a bunny stump. Okay, so I did add a bunny tree stump, like right in the back there. So they won't be on like inside of your garden, but they will be on your lot. And then I finish up the front of the house with the pond, and I'm just adding a couple more plants to fill in some of the empty space. Since I am using debug plants, it's super easy to fill in without spending too much money, which is another reason why I like using the debug plants, because you can make the lots look more full without spending too much of your money on some of the exterior stuff. Now this home does not end up being a starter home, it is over the starter home budget, but it's pretty close um, because of all the debug item usage. But we are about to go into the interior of the home. So this home is a one bedroom, two bathroom, and the bedroom is downstairs. So there is a basement, which is a little, I mean, it's a little inconvenient that it's a single sim with a two story home, but it was the only way that I could have enough space on the outside for a proper garden and also have to a bedroom inside of this house without everything seeming too cramped. I know that the cottage lifestyle is usually a little bit more cramped than some others, but I, I wanted the sim to be able to move around. I didn't want things to be too crazy. Um, and then over here, I'm just adding some artwork. I did use a couple of accent walls with some stone. I apologize if you can hear sirens in the background. There's apparently something going on on my street, which happens like every other day. So I do apologize if you can hear those, but I decided to go with a bookcase instead to give the sim something else to do. There's going to be a couple of other indoor activities, but I figured if they were, you know, more of a homey sim, you know, they like to garden, they like to cook, you know, maybe make preserves and stuff, they probably wouldn't have a whole lot of electronics. I do give them the TV from Eco Lifestyle, so kind of like the rundown one, the smaller one that doesn't, um, it's like you would find it in a dumpster. I thought that that kind of fit with their storyline. Like maybe it was an old one from before they decided to go green and before they decided to do all this stuff and it's just been like sitting around their house for forever. So they just took it with them. And then I'm also placing a lot of plants around. Obviously the Sim loves plants. So I wanted to kind of fill in the space. Over here, I am gonna add a couple of book um, ends up onto this uh, bay window. Now, in order to do this, I had to go outside and then place my red shelf underneath the window so that way I could properly get it to sit in the window. There are some objects that if you place them in a certain angle, you can get them to sit on the windowsill, but this, these books are not one of them, so you have to kind of mess around with it to get it to work and look correct. I also added one of the candy jars from the Paranormal Stuff Pack. Now, the candy jars do give you emotions or they mess with your sim but they look so cute i always end up using them anyway despite the fact that they kind of mess with your sim and then over here is the kitchen i decided to go with the blue because i used a blue couch so i thought it'd be kind of cute if like all the accents in the home were blue and white now obviously and i should say unfortunately that does mean the curtains for this uh kitchen set are pink i don't like the curtains that come with this kitchen set or the country kitchen kit i think that they should have had more neutral options but it is what it is. Th these are the curtains that come with it. So we have bright pink curtains. 
Uh, the kitchen is rather large, however, there is only one usable counter. It's going to be the counter right next to the stove. I pretty much clutter up all the other ones, um, just adding a couple of things here and there, making it look a little bit more homey, a little bit more lived in. I definitely thought even though there's only one sim here, they were probably in the kitchen a lot, they were probably working a lot. You know, they grow their own food and stuff, so they have to be really careful and like really clean about things, so I definitely thought that they were working really hard and kind of just always around. And then I also added some extra shelving that I'm cluttering up as well. These ca The cabinets we got with this pack are really nice because they have clutter items on the shelves so they don't look just like empty, like empty shelves that aren't being used that are so unrealistic. But I do think that I needed, for this style that I was going for, I needed just a little bit more clutter just to make things a little bit easier. Um, I also added the dog bowl, obviously, and a trash can, and then over here is going to be a little a little side nook. This is a side door that leads um, right outside to the garden, so I am going to be adding something to like hold jackets and shoes and stuff. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, a hutch. I'm going to be adding a hutch. Right now I have the one that came with this pack that has like dining stuff in it. It has, um, what are they called? Cups and plates and stuff, like din dining wear and stuff like that but i do end up switching it out for one that from i think it's the one from seasons that has the coats and stuff on it and then in here is the upstairs bathroom it is a full bath they are it is two full bathrooms um i thought that if you guys had wanted to like if you downloaded this house but you had a whole family you could definitely add space downstairs for another bedroom so i thought it'd be kind of cool if there was like two bathrooms just so you guys had you know a little bit of space and like some free time or some free areas to go ahead and add in some extra rooms if you needed it for your sim family and then downstairs this is the other bathroom it's pretty much the same thing as upstairs it is a little bit bigger though so i do end up adding laundry into this one um except i think i forgot to place a laundry basket in the bedroom so i will go ahead and do that after i or before i upload this to the gallery but i have this space and i thought that it'd be kind of cool if they did like they had laundry in here in case they it was like raining outside or they couldn't do their laundry outside but they also did their laundry outside like they had the hanging rack and the wash bucket although i don't know if the wash bucket is still broken i'd be intrigued to know if they have fixed that yet considering we just got this country living pack and like that'd be super good for a country living like lifestyle is to have the wash bucket but i know for a while if you if you used it you couldn't change the water back out so the water was always dirty so let me know in the comments down below if they have fixed that yet because I'd be intrigued to know since I haven't been able to play the game in a while. And then in here is going to be the one bedroom that I created. So the the theme of it is blue and yellow. And I hung this season's picture up of the farm because I thought that maybe they had seen this picture when they were a kid. And this is what first got them really into wanting to have a farm. You know, they loved the scenery and the idea of living off the land and being sustainable and stuff like that. So they have like their dream farm up on their wall to kind of inspire them for what they want to do when they grow up or when they get a little bit older. And then over here is just the dressing area. I decided not to use the dresser that came with this pack because I thought that a younger Sim would be living here and that pa that dresser seems very antique-ish and I love that aspect about it, but for this Sim in particular, I thought it really wasn't going to fit all that well, so I decided to go against against it and I used the one from Seasons. And then over here is just a little bit of a reading nook. I also added a crochet basket because that was an activity that came with the new pack so I wanted to make sure that I utilized it as much as I possibly could and I'm excited to get to try and play it and like I said I am going to be playing the sim that's going to be living here so I wanted to try out all the new aspects of the pack that I possibly could and then I added an extra chair because the spacing wasn't really working out with only one chair I couldn't quite get a picture to look right and then out here is the gardening shed which as I said has the flower arranging table and then a couple of clutter items that we got with this new pack but besides that that is it for this build so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye